Well, we had a gorgeous day today. Tonight will be a low of 53 degrees, and tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny with a high of 81. I'll have those full weather updates for you later on in the 6 o'clock report. WBTT's top international story today. South Korea's president has issued a public apology for a series of scandals that have rocked his family and inner circle. In a televised speech, President Lee myung bak apologized for what he called shameful incidents during his final months in office. Earlier this month, Lee's brother was arrested on bribery charges involving two Korean banks. Now two of his former aides are being sought on suspicions of receiving bribes from those banks. Lee cannot run for re-election in December, but the scandal could have far-ranging implications for his political party. Well, the Thai Weather Department issued a warning of the impact of Typhoon Vincente, which ranged, raged through Hong Kong, injuring about 130 people. The typhoon is being downgraded to the tropical cyclone and is made landfall over China's province with sustained winds over about 110 kilometers per hour. The Meteorology Department of Thailand says that it's warning on Tuesday and that the cyclone is moving fast with speeds out of the west at about 20 kilometers per hour and it weakens respectively. It's expected to decline up over Vietnam on Tuesday. An American Cancer Society analysis shows higher lung cancer rates in upstate New York than in New York City, a trend society officials attribute to higher smoking rates in poorer areas. The report Monday, based on state cancer registry data from 2004 to 2008, says prostate, colorectal, breast, and lung cancers account for about half the state's cases and deaths. There's a major geographic difference only in lung cancer that tracks state health department data showing a 13 percent smoking rate among city residents compared with a 17 percent in upstate residents. In 2011, the Society MS estimates 107,000 New Yorkers were diagnosed with cancer while 34,000 died from the disease. The National Cancer Institute says an estimated 1.6 million Americans will be diagnosed and 577,000 will die this year. Well, if you live in one of seven eastern states and still have ground beef in your freezer that you bought last month, government investigators say look out for possible salmonella contamination. Consumers in seven states, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Virginia are being warned to avoid ground beef sold in a number of super supermarkets between May 29th and June 16th. Almost 30,000 pounds of the ground beef is being recalled after being linked to people who got sick from salmonella. Well, the first American woman in space has died. Sally Ride died Monday after a 17-month battle with pancreatic cancer. She was 61 years old. Upon news of her passing, President Obama hailed her as a national hero and a powerful role model. Ed Payne reports. Sally Ride traveled into space on the shuttle Challenger in 1983. She was just 32 years old. Ride returned to space on the same shuttle the following year. What was absolutely amazing to me was uh, the feeling I had looking back at Earth. The perspective that that view gives you on your planet is just, you know, you can't get it just standing on the ground with your, your feet firmly planted on Earth. You can only get it from space. And it's just, it's remarkable how beautiful our planet is and how fragile it looks. Ride joined NASA in 1978 after responding to a recruitment ad in the student newspaper at Stanford University where she earned several degrees, including a doctorate in physics. After making her mark in space, Ride worked as a physics professor, wrote several children's books, and served on the panels that investigated the two space shuttle disasters. She also started her own company to help teach students, especially young women and girls, about science, math, and technology. It was my great privilege to work with her going around the country, basically putting on almost like rock shows to do with science. There was a big festival, we'd have an astronaut speaker, we'd have all kinds of big street fairs. Basically, so middle school girls who thought that science was a very boring, dull career, they would look at this great festival and go, well, I was wrong. I'm Ed Payne reporting. Stay tuned for more of this 6 o'clock report on News Channel 25 WVTT. Coming up next, Derek Smith breaks down sports for us. Keep it here, Twin Tears.